on successors and welcome to another episode of the success sermons uh, i'm excited to be here with you today hanging out uh, and i wanted to just share just a quick message just something that popped in my mind last night as i was uh just just doing a little bit of development uh, of course, you know, that's truly essential for each and every one of us in order to grow and be the best and most effective leader possible. So I, I, I was listening to um, just some content uh, that, that Dr. Brett McCabe w- was sharing uh, much, much respect. And, and I have a high level of, of appreciation for Dr. Brett. And uh, j- just as he was interviewing uh, Dr. Tim Elmore, I believe it was, then as they could go on and, and they began to talk and just discuss about this concept of being a velvet brick. And I said, OK, a, a velvet brick. Let, let's, let's talk more about that. What is a velvet brick? What does that look like? What does that even mean for each and every one of us? And, and then and then Dr. Tim Elmore began to go in a little bit more and he began to share this concept about how. How people have to understand that, that they need to be multifaceted, right, because on one side, sharing that we know velvet is something that's soft velvet is something that's smooth velvet is something that feels good feels good looks good all that great stuff but then at the same time the brick the the brick is more so rough the brick is more so rigid the brick is more so if you want to be just straightforward with it the brick lays the bone yeah the 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 brick lays the bone and 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 he began to talk about this concept with coach and in the fact of how coaches need to become more like velvet bricks. Because when we think about a coach, we think about a parent, we think about whoever that individual has been in our life that's been truly influential or the individuals that are in our life right now that are truly influential. And there are people who are those who expect a high level of effort. Who, who requires so much more of us sometimes than we would desire to give. Um, that's the part that's the brick, you know, the, the, the part that forces, the part that drives, the, the part that encourages us. Even sometimes it might be like grinding our gears, but ultimately they expect so much more from us. So that's why they're rougher on us to ultimately get the most out. But then the other piece is the velvet piece. And the reason that the brick is plain and simply for for the specific reason right here, when we have a velvet brick, this is what smooths out those areas that are rough. This is when we check in with people and we know they had a rough day. This is when we show a level of empathy. And this is when we connect a little bit deeper outside of the sport, outside of whatever you're coaching this individual in, outside of being rough all of the time because we know if you're rough all the time you'll push everybody away but then if you're soft all the time then people will run you over so ultimately the concept of a velvet brick showing us how to be empathetic showing us how to have a high level of expectancy right so ultimately when we get to this place and we get to this space we must truly be velvet bricks. So my friends today, to be empathetic, but also don't let up on your level of expectancy for yourself and for those around you. So let us be more like velvet bricks today, my successors. Let us be what we wanna see. Let us encourage, but then also hold others accountable. Because by us doing that, Now we're leveling the playing field. All right, my friends, I will see you later. This is TEDx speaker and bestselling author Jonathan Jones reminding you to speak your success, believe in your greatness, and continue to create the life and business of your dreams. Why would you want to live any other way? Take care, my friends.